Hi everybody, just wanted to introduce you to the Maison Maria Potager. We created this back when we moved into the house, a couple of mo months after moving in, uh, on the main lawn because it's southwest facing, so it gets lots of glorious sunshine. Um, we started off by just digging beds that you can see here and adding lots of soil in the river. Uh, but over the time we have decided to move into permaculture, um, which is using layers of straw, manure or other fertilizer, and to create some raised beds. And this is the first raised bed we did, which was for our strawberries to stop the slugs getting to them um, in troughs. I saw it on TV, so I can't say it was my idea. I've got a gorgeous red strawberry just there. I don't know whether you can see it. And it's been very successful, although this year I've just planted new strawberries, so it'll take a while for those to crop properly. Um, we've got onions in this bed here, white and red onions and our tomatoes that we planted back in April that are just going like crazy. So this is the permaculture bed. You can see there are layers and layers of different types of soil in there, manure and straw. And this was the last bed that we put in so that we could try and grow some root vegetable crops because the earth's quite hard here. It's quite clay, so the roots um, wouldn't go down. So we've, we have put some rocket in and an interesting little experiment here because this is wild rocket and that's cultivated rocket. And as you can see, the cultivated is doing much, much better. Here we've got parsnips, which are just beginning to come through and carrots and parsley. Uh, they're just beginning to come through. They've been in for about 10 or 11 days now. And then another bed here with more tomatoes. Uh, we planted these a little bit later so that we get a, a later crop. They're doing okay. And some red peppers and some cucumbers and courgettes. Oh, there's a little lizard scarpering across there. And then our fabulous raspberries, which I've had in for about four years now. And they just keep providing tons and tons of great, raspberries. Um, I cut all the deadwood out every year um, which brings them back and I've put quite a few supports in to help. And then coming round to the area where we create our compost. So this is fresh compost here and that compost is an amalgamation of about three loads and is about six weeks old now. In the summer it gets very, very hot, so we have to water the compost to keep the water levels up in it, otherwise it won't decompost. And the household uh, green waste goes in there. And Kevy has created a lovely little coal frame for me. Oh, we have a little butterfly friend that's joined us. Say hello. He's absolutely beautiful. Gets so many butterflies here. And then this is my sort of little nursery area where I bring on other plants and sweeping round to our purple figs, which are just divine and provide us with lovely figs for fig chutney, green figs, hazelnut trees, and then coming back round to our amazing almond tree, which I love but keeps dropping almonds onto my potager and the squirrels keep coming and breaking them apart and leaving them all over the ground, as you can see here. But I still love the tree because it's beautiful. And then finally, a few little beautiful thickadies at the bottom. So a nice little introduction to our potager and I'll do more videos showing you how we get on through the summer soon. Bye for now.